right. Good morning, everybody. Continue on the subject of uh, self-worth, self-esteem, and the controversy that surrounds whether or not an individual should have a high opinion of themselves. <laughs> oh, just humble yourself, you know, under the mighty hand of God, and in due season he will raise you up. Well, let's settle that issue. Hopefully we can settle it once and for all. And uh, I'm going to be quoting from three verses of Scripture, three verses of Scripture that uh, seem to have the controversy going on for, for decades. Are we ready? All right. Good morning, everybody. Here we go. It's wrong for me to love my own life. Instead, I should hate myself. <laughs> because, you know, self-praise is no recommendation. <laughs> and they have scripture for that too. Let me quote the scripture. John 12, 25. The one who loves his life will lose it. And the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. So if you hate yourself, you will go to heaven. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't even want to bother to answer some of this stuff because it's just ridiculous that people use that scripture to mean you must hate yourself. If the man who loves his life will lose it, but the one who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. That scripture is nowhere teaching self-hate. It's talking about the fact that you, you must have the things that pertain to the kingdom of God or as of priority, as more important. And uh, you shouldn't try to save your life in the sense of putting God last because of persecution or whatever, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go right on to my, uh, my second either understanding or misunderstanding. And I'm quoting a scripture too. The first one says you should hate yourself. The second one says you should love your neighbor. All right, so here we go. I don't know whether I should love myself, but I know that the scripture teaches I should love other people. But you're not sure whether the, teach, the scripture teaches that you should love yourself. And uh, the, the statement is that the scripture is confusing about self-love, but we know we should sacrifice and love others. And a man gave up his life for his friend, etc., etc. So here's that scripture, 1 John 3 and 16. Not John 3, 16. 1 John 3 and 16. And it says, this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. And so the first scripture they teach is that you should hate yourself, because if you hate yourself, you're going to heaven. And the second scripture teaches you should love others and be willing to lay down your life which you hate for others. And so when you're reading these scripture verses out of their context, it is easy for people to have a very low opinion of themselves. And so to balance these two scriptures, I'm going to quote you another scripture. We're still on the subject of uh, self-hate, self-esteem, and what the scripture teaches. And in this passage of scripture, this scripture teaches you to love yourself. So one says, hate yourself. One says, love your neighbor and be willing to die for them. And this other one says, love yourself. How come we don't quote this one? And here it goes, Leviticus 19 and 18. Love your neighbor as yourself. You'll find this in Matthew 9, 19, Mark 12, 31, Luke 10, 27, Romans 39. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. In other words, to the same extent and degree that you love your neighbor, you must love yourself to that same extent and to that same degree. So let's break it down. Number one is, nowhere does the scripture teach you to hate yourself. Nowhere. In that one passage that I read, it's talking about priority. You're putting God last in order to save yourself. And in this context, it is to save yourself from persecution and you will end up losing your life if you try that. The second one says you must be willing to lay down your life for your neighbor. 
But that doesn't mean you must hate yourself in order to lay down your life for your neighbor. The third one says you must love your neighbor as you love yourself. So in that passage, it's teaching you to love two people. One, your neighbor, and two, yourself. Let me hammer it in now. There is absolutely nothing wrong if you love yourself. If you don't love you, how are you going to love me? If you don't appreciate the gift that you are to the world, how are you going to appreciate the gift that someone else is to the world? And this is where people get it all twisted. And that's why it's so easy to hate others because of their own self-hate. But look, I have to be of value. I have to be priceless. I have to be of tremendous worth for God the Almighty to invest the best he had. What did he invest, Rev? I'm glad you asked. He invested his son, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I am to die for. And Jesus demonstrated it when he went to the cross and died in my stead, died in my place, took my death, and gave me his eternal life. And so you can smile today, stop worrying about it. It is okay to love yourself. It is okay to think highly of yourself. Not more highly than you ought to think, but you ought to think of yourself highly. It is okay to love yourself. Say with me now, I love me. Oh, oh I can't say that. I don't want to be proud. <laughs> you are to die for. God bless. The boom is out. Have a great day, everybody. Go out and do some good. Shine. Blessings to you all.